Good day, cadets, and welcome to the Coventry Military Academy. Today, I will be delivering a lecture on the Hermit Crab, a product of StarCore Industries. The Hermit Crab is a lightweight battle mech weighing in at only 25 tons. Its chassis is the Hollis Mark III, and it is powered by an Omni 175 power plant. The Hermit Crab has a cruising speed of 75 kph and a maximum speed of 118 kph with the ability to jump up to 210 meters using Chilton 360 jump jets. It is equipped with Duralix medium armor and is armed with two diverse optics extended range medium lasers. StarCore Industries designed the Hermit Crab with a movement profile similar to the Jenner, allowing it to function as a capable scout. Additionally, it has a low center of gravity and high mounted hips make it an agile mech. The Hermit Crab is also equipped with energy weapons which allow it to operate far from support and supply lines. Its oversized grabber arms, which can be powered down, make it ideal for lifting and hauling materials. These arms, along with the lifting ring attachment points on the underside of the chassis, allow the Hermit Crab to carry external cargo, making it useful for light industrial mech tasks. StarCore used unconventional tactics to generate interest in the Hermit Crab, including gifting some to the Lyran Commonwealth and Duchy of Tamarind Abbey to assist with pirate hunting operations in exchange for battle ROM data. The Hermit Crab has also been used in reconstruction roles following battles. However, the Hermit Crab has fallen into pirate hands on some occasions leading to attacks on the Lyran Commonwealth, where the Hermit Crab has been used to great effect. StarCore offers two additional variants of the Hermit Crab, the HMC-14 and the HMC-15. Both variants use Duralex Super Medium Ferro Fibrous Armor, and the HMC-14 swaps the center torso jump jet for an extra laser while the HMC-15 surrenders all jump capability to mount Twin Defiance 1002 light PPCs in place of the lasers. Now let us turn our attention to one of the Hermit Crab's notable mech warriors, Hauptmann Christopher Moose Green. He is a renowned mech warrior who has achieved great success in the Hermit Crab. Following a series of pirate raids that killed his entire family, Green embarked on a mission to eradicate pirates. After graduating from a Mech Warrior Academy, he specifically chose the 8th Lyran Regulars as his first posting to seek revenge. However, the 8th's involvement in Operation Hammerfall provided little chance for vengeance and cost Green his crab. Now piloting a hermit crab, Green has gained a small measure of justice during a pirate hunting sweep through the former Circinian worlds. Despite being twice demoted for using excessive force, he refuses to take any pirate as a prisoner. He remains unhappy with his lot and is rumored to be considering a position with Star Corps security forces so he can continue his crusade. Houtman Green's story highlights the emotional impact of conflict and the deep personal motivations that can drive mech warriors to excel in their profession. It also serves as a reminder that excessive use of force can lead to consequences, even in the pursuit of noble causes. The Hermit Crab is a versatile and agile battle mech, perfectly suited for scout and support roles. Its energy weapons payload, oversized grabber arms, and lifting ring attachment points make it useful for light industrial mech tasks. As cadets of the Lyran's Coventry Military Academy, it is important to understand the capabilities and weaknesses of this battle mech, as well as its potential as a tool for recon and urban defense. We must also learn from the experiences of our mech warriors, like Hauptmann Christopher Moose Green, and understand the personal and emotional impacts of conflict. We must be mindful of the consequences of our actions, even when fighting for noble causes. Thank you for attending this lecture, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors.